If you've played RuneScape Classic for more than a couple days, you know the bank in it is really primitive. It really wasn't designed to hold as many items as it eventually ended up being able to. When the item bank was initially released in July of 2001, it could only hold 48 items or just one page. This was expanded to two pages when Members was released in February of 2002. And then in May of 2003, it was quadrupled to four pages, but the interface didn't ever change to be able to accommodate being able to hold four times as many items. Uh, despite a maximum of nearly 200 items being allowed, it's impossible to rearrange items except by withdrawing all of them and uh, depositing that item back in at the end of the bank. With there being no banknotes as well, this could mean dozens of hours of withdrawing up to 30 items at a time, trading them 12 at a time to an alt account, and then doing the same thing again in reverse to slowly put the items back into your bank with the only goal being to put like one item back on your page one. And how easy is it to mess up that order? Oh, I think I'll go train some magic and here I go. Oh, oh, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. It takes just a couple pixel misclick to mess up your entire bank. It didn't have to be this way. Back in May of 2018, immediately before Jagex announced that the servers would be going offline, Louie implemented a special command in RC Plus that filtered the items in your bank by search string. This was a big improvement, because at least if you were really looking for a particular item, you didn't have to scan every row and column over four pages for every item that you want. This bank search functionality is a concept that would have been further expanded on if the announcement that Classic was shutting down hadn't occurred only days later. What I'm here to show you today is the path that RSC Plus may have taken had Classic not been shut down at that moment. This is the new RSC Plus bank interface. So hopefully you enjoyed that Summoning Salt parody. In all seriousness, this really is a pretty epic feature, and it feels good to pick back up where we were when the game shut down. Now that there's a server to play on again, it kind of makes sense to develop client features again. And if Jagex does bring back their server someday, uh, this bank interface would work there too. In the last segment, I showed the feature working in RC Plus replays, which is literally the client connected to network data sent by the original server. The reason that this is possible is because the server sends the entire bank all at once, and not just one page at a time. So we can do whatever we want with the data that the server sends us, and then work on the unsorted data for when the bank gets an update from the server. All the bank enhancement features are opt-in, which means that they're not enabled by default, which means you gotta go into settings and enable them if you want to use them. So open your client, log into your bank, and uh, press Control o to open your settings. Then go to the bank tab, and there are a few settings here. The first one is show bank value. That enables this calculator here in the middle that tells you how much your bank is worth, and you can enable that without the additions on the side. Uh, next there is sort or filter your bank. That enables pretty much the whole feature. Although you can have it without the calculator for some reason if you wanted that. And uh, remember filter sort. That makes it so that if you close the client and then reopen it, it'll still remember which of these boxes you had ticked. Um, so that's a good thing. Then there is the item search. This is bank search, but in a text field. 
and you can put a comma in between your search terms and that means that you can search for more than one thing at once which is cool next we have the custom bank order feature which is what controls the order of items in your bank when you press this bottom left button so the instructions here are pretty good i think but i'm going to run through it with you go ahead and open your bank and press one of these sorts if you want to have like a pretty good starting point for how you sort your own bank. Um, you can also not do that and just have your existing bank and export that. Go ahead, either way, go ahead and export your bank. It'll tell you where you saved it to. And the next step is to go ahead and open up the RSC Plus website and go to the bank organizer. Here it is, the RSC Bank Organizer, initially made by The Legend of Brian in 2016. Go ahead and press this import button, then navigate to the file. There's mine. And you'll be right here able to click and drag and reorganize your bank to your heart's content. Then once you're done, go ahead and save the username and save the file. You get this file. Make sure you find that file in your files. And there is an import button back in the settings that you can click, but I find that it's easier to just use the native operating system file explorer instead of the Java JChooser. So what you can do is just, while you have your bank open, go ahead and drag and drop the file right into the client. At this point you now have a completely automatically you know in quote marks because you still have to sort it but automatically sorted bank which matches up completely with what you saw on the website. Most of the filtering and sort options I hope are self-explanatory but I'll go through all of them just in case. First there's a sort for release date so items that came out uh, chronologically are listed first and then there's also reverse chronological order so released this is the uh, yeah this is the last item that was released in uh, 2003 October 31st and the first one that I have in my bank is the coins alright so speaking of coins this is most valuable items so just per item this is the item value and if you want a very unvaluable item, then you would do the reverse. And uh, here's this 1GP sprite that I made. Pretty good. Then there is alphabetical sort, which could be useful in some circumstances, I guess. Here's all the items alphabetically. And then there's reverse alphabetical order, in case your brain works that way and you need to find it the reverse way. There you go. Here, this one is special. Um, this is efficiency sort. And currently, I'm looking for feedback from the community on this one because I've just arranged the items in a way that I feel is nice. It's not necessarily what is efficient. Okay. Then there's user sort. We went over this. Uh, look on the website rearrange your items, click and drag, import it back in here, it's the same order. Brilliant. Alright, moving on to filters. This is the inventory satchel. So what's so cool about this is that it will show you items that are in your inventory, which is something you usually cannot get to see in RuneScape Classic. Uh, you can't like just hover over the satchel and be reminded of what you have in your inventory. Not an option. If you want to deposit items in your bank you gotta like where's my items blue blue but I don't know where it is next page until you <laughs> until you have deposited all your items this button you just click it and you can there they are great I'll deposit my cabbage if you click this button it will remember items that were recently in your inventory so like these chaos runes I deposited them I have zero but I have this inventory history filter on and that means even though I've deposited my chaos runes I can just withdraw them again and the client remembers that I had them okay next filter this is the combat wearables magic 
uh, just all like ranged everything you can wear everything for killing it's in this tab then uh, here is a filter for food and potions so if you need some buffs this is the tab for you uh, like buckets are in here because it's also like a cooking tool like this would make uh, with flour dough so buckets are in here as well then this is a good tab this is the herb law filter uh, anything you need to make potions goes in this filter next here is the tools and resources filter a good filter to have you can also filter just tools or filter just resources and then there's bank search again uh, it looks like yeah right now the search is for either rune or addy so both of those items are there but just like I showed in the uh, previous segment you can bank search I don't know uh, gnome and there's all my gnome robes the last thing I'm not sure that I explicitly said is that you can use filters together but you can't use sorts together you know you only get one sort at a time uh, but you can use the filters together like here's the food filter let's say I want to add in uh, my resources for some reason now I've got food and resources mixed together okay bad example right but here's the inventory and here's my search term which is good because now I've got uh, my gnome robes and I've got coins and everything that's in my inventory together so you can imagine the applications of uh, combining filters could be pretty good all right well I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoy this new bank feature and links are in the description to the bank organizer website to where you can download RSC plus and where you can download open RSC thanks for watching